To make the frame or chassis on which an engine stands, thick steel plate is cut by oxyacetylene burners, shaped and drilled. While the sides of the frame are being burnished, finished off, other flat steel plates are bent by the pressure of hydraulic rollers, slowly curved to form the circular boiler plates. In the forge, ingots of steel are being heated to a white heat for forging into connecting and coupling rods, crankshafts and other parts of the power transmission. Beaten from the white hot metal, the forging of a connecting rod is ready for machining. In the boiler shop, the boiler plate, not long ago a flat sheet of steel, is almost completed. The boiler plates are assembled. The frame of the firebox attached to the boiler. Onto this frame is fitted the firebox cover. Then the whole assembly is joined by riveting. The firebox and boiler, the power plant of the engine, are nearly complete. In the machine shop are being made the component parts to transfer that power to the driving wheels, the cylinder blocks, the pistons that will fit into them, the coupling rod forging is being drilled, and the complicated valve gear is being ground. Space has been cleared in the assembly shop, ready for the laying of the frame, like the laying of a ship's keel. When all these boiler components have been fitted, then the completed boiler, the firebox, the driver's cab, already mounted on the chassis, are dropped onto the driving wheels and bogey.
British engineers built the first locomotive over a hundred years ago. British skill and British steel have made our engines preeminent throughout the world. This is the lesson of a century's experience.